Hello Divi people, it's Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace here. We've got a new developer on board, Tortoise IT, who have developed a beautiful little plugin. And it is little, but it does so much. It's quite incredible. So I've done a little video uh, because he's too shy to do it, a, a chap called Sean. But he's built basically a plugin that you can put uh, information up here above the header. So that's up here. And you can put information after the header, uh, which is global across the whole of your website. You can put information um, post content as well, uh, after the content as well, so post content. And you can also put information pre footer. So you can have your own footer there as well. And you can put some information here, like a map or an address or anything like that, which is global, goes right across the site and you can exclude certain pages as well within the plugin. You can also uh, replace this. There's a, a nice little footer editor in there as well within uh, this beautiful plugin. And I'm going to show you now, and it's called the Divi Layout Injector. You just install it through as a plugin. There's no XML to import. There's nothing to do other than um, activate the plugin go to your settings and you'll find out Divi Layout Injector is there. It's also got a 404 layout um, situation as well. So let me just go through these very, very quickly and we'll see what the power uh, of this really tiny plugin uh, from Tortoise IT, which I'm particularly excited about because it just answers a lot of questions in Divi. So what I've done, I've set up a couple of library items uh, but also you can choose to inject, this is why it's called Divi uh, Layout Injector, you can choose to inject any layout that you've either imported, uh, you know, we've got Elegant Themes who are now issuing free layouts, we've got Divi Theme Examples who've got free layouts, Elegant Marketplace myself have got free layouts as well, so you can just import those and they'll immediately be put in here uh, into this drop-down uh, box, along with uh, most of the other or all of the other um, layout options within Divi as well. And all you've got to do is save those layouts to your library and they'll be available to you in any of these drop downs. So let's have a go at the 404 layout page. Now I haven't done anything there. Um, there's, a, there's a sales page and I've always liked to have a 404 page that kind of tells people, sorry you haven't found that content, but maybe you'd be interested in this content. But for this example, we'll just use the standard sales page layout. We'll save those settings, and then we'll visit my test website, or a little website that I have going around that doesn't do an awful lot, to be frank. And then I'll just say, uh, find any page, let's say. And let's see what happens. Nothing found on the top title, obviously. But there you go, you've got the layout of the sales page already injected in there so any page that uh, doesn't exist or you've had a problem with 301 redirections or you've got some 404 errors on your pages you can present your web visitors with a perfectly uh, laid out 404 page using the Divi builder so again all you do is you build that layout within your your Divi library or you can use uh, a page that you've already sorted out you can just build a, a straight page as long as you save it to the library it will be there so let's just leave that as that is, so that's fine. Then we go to our pre-header layout. Now, what do I mean by a pre-header layout? So we've got the menu and the navigation all there, but a lot of people want something above that. And they kind of almost want um, some content in there that's either a call to action or an introduction or even an image. So all you do with that is you just choose uh, your Divi layout to put in to your pre-header layout. So what I've done, I've just built a little test email opt-in and uh, we refresh this page and hopefully that test email opt-in item will appear above your menu. Now you can do that as a full width, you can do it as a slim opt-in, it doesn't matter what you've actually done within the layout that you've saved into the Divi library. Uh, you might even want to spell it correctly. But the point is, is that that just demonstrates that this is uh, the way to get uh, something above your header and above your um, 
menu item and it's really great it stays there it's consistent it's uh, it, it keeps your your menu item consistent as well and the only caveat on that is that you have to take fixed navigation off and the way that you do that you go into your Divi theme options and you basically disable fixed navigation if I enable it now and save those changes you can see what happens immediately we'll just uh, refresh that page and that um, above the header item goes just below the header because the header is really built into WordPress coding. So we've had to uh, make sure that we've, we, we record it properly and make sure that the, the stuff goes above the header. But we have to, the only way to do that is to take off the fixed navigation bar. And that means that the developer has been able to encode it so that everything that you want above the, the header there goes above your navigation bar as well but it doesn't affect the, the, the way the rest of the site uh, operates at all. So we've now got something that's fixed in there. Let's go back and see the Divi layout injector again and see what else we can do. We've got some pre-content layout. Now, I ask, you know, people ask, why would I want something in my pre-content layout? So again, it's anything that you want that is global on every single page throughout your website but you don't want to build a global layout and have to inject that via the Divi Builder. You can inject it via the Divi Layout Injector. So you just save it as a Divi Layout in your library and then you say, okay, well, I want everything on my, um, I want my first sales page, let's say for instance, and I want that to appear throughout the site. And again, on your post content layout, you might want um, a map that appears after every single part of your um, content in your website. And you might also want something just before your footer, which is your pre-footer layout, that's what the uh, developer has called it. And again, you want some copyright information. So the copyright in this website, you wanna put in the date. So all you do is you simply copy that section there pop that there you want the blog name to be shown as well copy that there and anything else if you want to even if you want a picture in here you can add some media have a little look in your media file and you want a nice little uh, picture say oh let's put me in without a beard how's that so there i am front and center i can save all those settings And I just refresh the pages or refresh the website. There's my pre-content layout. There's everything that I needed. There's my contact form. There's my map that I want people to see. There's my sign up form. There's my normal footer that I've done. There's my copyright and a picture of me. Now. Divi, as we know, has a brilliant facility called a blank template. Obviously, we don't want anything to interfere with the way the blank template works. So the developer has said, right, well, you can show all of this uh, information on your blank tape template if you want to, uh, but you have to make sure that you check this box. So just remember that if you're using a blank template, make sure that this is unchecked and none of these injections, as it were, the Divi layout injector settings will apply to your blank template. So I suggest you go along to Elegant Marketplace or keep in touch with us, find out when this plugin is actually going to be launched. It's ready to go now. We've just got a few things to do. It's Friday, uh, the 1st of April. This isn't an April Fool's trick. You can actually do all these kinds of things. We love it. We hope you're going to love it. Comment below.